With me now, the former Victorian Liberal Party President Michael Kroger and former Labor Minister Stephen Conroy. Gentlemen, great to see you. Michael, where for the coalition now? Uh, hard to see them overturning more tax relief for low and middle income earners. So, so do you see them simply saying, OK, wave them through and seek to make those further tax cuts at the higher end if elected? I think so, and to confirm their support for the higher end of Stage 3 um, in, in, in an announcement. I mean, the Coalition's been firm on Stage 3 for years. It implemented them at the beginning, as we know. So I think they'll stick with that and not overturn the, the uh, other changes that the government have made uh, and reiterate that uh, Albo is not a man whose word can be trusted. But uh, I think the other point is... The longer the debate in this country is on tax, the worse it is for Labor. This is the Liberal Party's home territory. It's the brand, number one brand equity for the coalition uh, tax economic management. And Albo has foolishly uh, broken this promise and he'll keep the focus on tax uh, until the next election, which is exactly what you wouldn't want to do if you were a Labor leader. Uh, if he's any doubt about that, he should ask his predecessor how that went for him in 2019. Stephen Conroy, is it, does it end up being about tax? Does it end up being about cost of living and fairness? How do you read it? Well, I think, you know, Michael's just again demonstrated that the Liberal Party have a major, major dilemma staring them in the face right now. They have to decide whether they're going to break their promise to support these the, the pre-existing tax cuts, or well, they're going to vote for the new package put forward by the Albanese government. I mean, Michaela Cash, I watched her interview just before that. She'll regret that uh, interview for the rest of her political life. I mean, she she said forty dollars. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Uh, well, it matters a lot to the people of Australia. It matters a lot to those who earn less than one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. And they're getting substantive tax relief from the Albanese government. So. Michael's challenge in what he just, you know, put forward was, are the Liberals going to vote to dump the tax cuts that they promised for six years? And then, more importantly, are they going to, as Michael's just heard him, promise, you know, over 10 years, you know, I think you said 4 to $5 billion a year, Karen, over 10 years, that's $50 billion of tax cuts. Are the Liberals going to commit to that? So there's some very serious issues that the Liberal Party are now going to have to confront. And then you've got an essential poll coming out today which says two-thirds of Australians support the changes because they're in a lot of pain from tax cuts. So I don't think, Michael, you know, brand equity, are you going to break your word? Are you going to commit to $50 billion of expenditure over 10 years? What's the Liberal Party position right now? Yeah, well, it does look like they will would err on the side of accepting the government's changes and promising so more because in opposition it's so easier to it is easier to promise promise more, isn't it? In in opposition, but the, the, we don't have to wait long for an electoral test, do we, Michael Kroger? Dunkley, mm. just around the corner. Uh, the poll today that Phil Curry reported suggested that the prime minister's net approval has collapsed in Dunkley right now. Well, I think that's right. Uh, and as we saw on Sky last night, all you need to do is, uh, it's not a scientific poll, KG, but have a look at the reaction to Albo at the tennis last year and on Sunday night. Clapton cheered last year, booed very loudly this year. Uh, his, his, his standing in Victoria has, uh, has suffered very badly because of this, this lie of attacks. Um, so has it suffered in Dunkley? Yes, of course. Has it suffered 6.3%? That's a big number. That's a big number from the last election. So I would expect Labor to be in front in that election, uh, despite the Liberals having a, a really good candidate, an outstanding uh, ex-mayor running. But, um, mate, the long-term damage of telling a lie like this, you, you, you can't... You're just stuck with this. I mean, Albo foolishly um, committed all the way along. And then there's 275 he committed to, you know, reduction. I mean... If you put specific numbers on these things and you legislate them, particularly in relation to tax cuts, you're stuck with this stuff. And uh, I would not want to be in Albo's corner giving him advice at the minute because, you know, he's told this lie and uh, he'll be stuck with it. He may get away with Dunkley only because the margin's so big, though. Stephen, there is a fair bit at stake at Dunkley, let's be frank.
No, look, Dunkley will be uh, an important test. I mean, this is a seat that the Liberals have held for most of the last 20, 25 years. Uh, it's been one of those ones that Labor's always going to win. Uh, Bruce Wilson was a fabulous uh, local MP. He was always present. You, know, you knew who he was. You knew who he was working for. Uh, and while there has been a redistribution, the real test will be, you know, Michael's assertion that Albo's finished because, you know, he's, he's broken, uh, you know, the position on the tax cuts, whereas middle Australians who desperately need relief and are welcoming this package. So Michael, you know, said, you know, it's our brand equity. I mean, the Liberals have to decide, are they going to stand for their brand equity in this by-election? Are they going to say that they don't agree with these tax cuts? They're going to vote against these changes in the tax cuts and they're going to commit to giving the extra money to the top uh, tax rate threshold, the 150 plus. You know, it, 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 are the Liberals going to stand on their brand equity or are they going to vote for, break their word and vote for Labor's new package? Stephen, Michael, great to see you both. Catch you next week and we will have an interesting Thanks, night, all of us, on that March the 2nd, the Dunkley <laughs> by-election. And Sky News, as always, will have uh, full see coverage of that by-election. So join us that night.